welcome to Toadstool House Art. I'm Adele and this is my first vlog. Um, well, I'm gonna call it a studio vlog. I don't actually have a studio. Um, so what you'll see of me making my art, uh, I do some sublimating as well, but you'll see all the paintings that I do, they're on my desk or they're on the dining room table. <laughs> so I've got my, uh, my new mug that I think I showed in the intro. It makes the liquid look like a little heart. And I also have a cookie because I just got in and I'm tired. <laughs> so what these vlogs are going to be about is just sort of my artistic process and showing the things that I'm going to be making because I'm some point soon um, I'm working on starting up a new art business. Um, I used to have one that was, it was never really a business, it was more sort of a hobby that I kept up over the years. I occasionally would go to conventions now and again and sell my art, but um, well, COVID happened, so <laughs> that put an immediate stop to that. Um, so I wasn't making anything through it. And sort of during COVID and lockdown, I realized that I wanted to change the direction of my art. I wanted to do watercolors. I wanted to do sort of florals fungi, um, all sorts of like nature related things and so yeah that's what you're going to see me doing because I've got some things I want to make. So I hope you enjoy it, I'm going to keep this part brief because I think we just want to get into it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to relax and have my snack for a bit and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Thanks for coming! So what I'm doing here is drawing in Procreate. Um, I do a lot of my sketching now in Procreate before I go and take it and, and do traditional work because it's just so much easier to, to draw that way because I can you know change things around, change the size and the scale of things. So yeah, I really, really like using it. So this is just some of the screen capture. We're gonna, um, w when I trace it onto watercolour paper, you'll see me do that in a bit. So what this is for is I want to make some little wooden pins because there's a company that does them. They do charms and pins and things and they're really nice. I've had them before. Um, so I want to do... Uh, if you order 50, say, you, you can get five different designs done. So I'm going to be doing a lot of... I think I want to do some something floral. Um, but first I'm starting with pumpkins because it was one of my more simple designs. And I just love pumpkins, so... <laughs> so as you see there, I, I already traced it onto my watercolour paper and I'm painting it with just ordinary watercolours. And I have kind of a messy style. <laughs> You'll see me doing a lot of layering because I like, I like when you can see a watercolour is a watercolour. So I like that texture where you sort of let the pigment pool in places and I build up uh, a lot of colour that way. So you're gonna, you're gonna see me adding colour, sometimes I work wet on wet and sometimes I will let things dry. So just to, just to differentiate these pumpkins from each other you can see the one on the left is more orangey whereas the one on the right is more yellow and I think this is gonna make sort of like a cute wooden pin because um, I, I really like sort of like autumnal things so, so I had to do it this way. Um, so I'm just, as you can see, I leave like the, a lot of white for the highlights because obviously it's watercolour, you can't go back in and add white so you just have to be careful with that. Um, oh, has it stopped? Nope! <laughs> it's just my editing. So yeah, so you can see I'm adding uh, the lines 
on the stems there just with like a nice olive green and these are gonna be like I say I'm gonna do like a like a set of five different pins I'm thinking so maybe something with a sunflower uh, I'm definitely gonna do a mushroom definitely because <laughs> those those are very much my aesthetic but as you can see I'm quite easy going with my watercolor I just just get that first layer down it's always it's always very pale like here it's a very yellowy pale green and then I will just let that dry ever so slightly before I go in with the next color and that will help really blend the next color because you don't want to work wet on wet immediately oh and here you <laughs> I'm drying it with my hair dry I do this a lot uh, you are gonna see me uh, make a, a little bit of a mistake in a minute because um, to check that it's dry, smart old me decided to put my hand on it. And you see as my hand goes around, smudge, smudge that bottom leaf. So that was clever. Um, so what, what you can do when you, when you mess up with watercolour, you just get clean water and a clean brush. And you just sort of pick up that pigment with a, with a little cloth there. Uh, it's not going to be too bad for this because I am, you know, I'm, I will scan this in and I will take off the background but I, d I didn't want to lose that sort of like white highlight along the edge of that leaf and then at the end I'm just going over it's the same brown pen I did the line work in I'm just thickening it up and making everything pop out and at this stage is when I'll add more detail I don't add a huge amount of detail to my line work to begin with because I feel like the what the watercolor as thin as it is it, it, laying pigment over ink will dull the ink slightly and this way, if I do it like this, it really makes it pop and I will, I, I've just got more control I think going over the top of the paint. So you see, I like I didn't add any veins to the leaves, so I add them, I always add them in afterwards. Because it just pops out more that way to me. And there it is, I think that's pretty cute. <laughs> and I think it's going to make a, a nice little wooden pin. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the, the process of that and I, there will be uh, plenty more to come. Like I say, I've got at least four more designs to do.
Okay, so I am back with more artwork. As you can see, this time I'm doing things digitally. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm using Procreate and I'm on my iPad, um, which I got last year. Uh, I've, I tried digital art before on my computer with a tablet um, and really, really not gotten along with it. Um, but eventually I decided to take the plunge and invest in an iPad. And I wouldn't go back. It, it's great. This is how I do all of my sketching now because it's, you know, it's much cleaner. I don't have to be rubbing out all the time. And I just, yeah, it, it's really easy to use once you get used to it. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating some designs for some keyrings because the company that I'm going to be getting my wooden badges off also do these nice acrylic keyrings. Now they have lots of colours and things, but they also have these clear ones, which I bought before, but they were, they had an offer on for double sided keyrings, so I decided to get it. And the thing I like about the most is that their acrylic is it's all recycled plastic. It's all things that have been saved from the landfill. So yeah, it, that's that's a bit better. So for these designs I decided to utilise the sort of clear aspect of the material. And so I thought about having something in, in jars or maybe bottles or something to so so it does look like a clear little jar. So then I thought about terrariums. So I think my designs are going to be themed mostly around that. So for this first one I decided to do little toadstools. And I did almost make it a lot more complicated because it, you saw a little bit earlier. There was, there was a moon and then there was what was going to be a sun. I wanted um, to have like a, a daytime scene on one side that filled the whole jar and then the nighttime scene, scene, scene <laughs> on the other side when you flipped it over. But that was kind of, it, it got too complicated for me for my first go at this. So I thought, no, keep it simple. So with that in mind, I decided to limit my colour palette and I just kept it to basically flat colours. Um, very little, some shading, but kept it minimal and just keeping things as, as simple as I could. Because these are going to be only about two inches tall, so too much detail and it will be lost. So you probably saw the jar there just appear. That's because I did that part in Photoshop. In Photoshop I use the path tool, which is where you can draw out a perfect shape. It's like perfectly, you can make it perfectly symmetrical, exactly how you want it and you can resize it to any size. So I do anything with like straight lines or simple curves I will do in Photoshop first and then I'm just going to bring it over into Procreate. And that's what I think I'm going to do with all of them. And I I said I wasn't going to add too much detail, but I did actually put um, detail on the lid with those shines and reflective parts. I actually quite like that, but <laughs> the rest of it I'm going to keep simple. So for the glass itself, I did colour in that initial outline. Didn't like it. I didn't think it would print very nice. So I then took it all off and decided to just do these simple white highlights. Then immediately got carried away adding these big highlights to the glass itself. Took them down, made it simple, just had a few little ones on the bottom and that was enough to finish it off. So there it is and I have four more designs to do. Um, I think I want to do something in a glass teacup, I think that would be really fun. But yeah, so I've got four more of these coming and I think they're going to look really cute as little keyrings. I think I'm going to put a little loop either right in the middle of the top or on one side and yeah just get some some metal uh, lobster clasps some nice ones uh, and see how they look so hopefully in, in, oh, I don't know, in a week or two you'll be able to see the finished project so hope you enjoyed watching that so I just wanted to show you something I got recently um, I was walking through the town and um, we walked past this charity shop and it was my mum that spotted this, it was right in the window. So I think they knew it wouldn't be in there long and it's the Concise British Flora in colour. And look how nice these illustrations are. Look how nice are they? And there's everything in here. So I'm thinking this is going to be a really good uh, reference for me, for my watercolours. 
Uh, the ones I'm, um, you've probably seen me doing earlier in this vlog, I've already, I've already pretty much done all the sketching for that, uh, which you'll see in sort of upcoming vlogs. Uh, so I'm going to show the sketching and then the painting, but really I work sort of sketch a lot first and then do the painting all at once, mostly. But yeah, so I won't need this for that, but this in the future I think is going to come in very, very handy. Kitty, <laughs> it's my cat wanting attention. So yeah, Ooh, you do get some good things. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed my my first vlog <laughs> I hope it all sort of makes sense um, I swear I don't normally eat that many sweets mm. although saying that I also had a uh, <laughs> a meringue with toffee cream as well that was nice I didn't film that part <laughs> um, but yeah so I've got a lot to do because I've got to do all these watercolors um, like I mentioned I've already done the sketches and I know which one I'm working on next so you'll see you'll see that in a few days and yeah there'll be more digital art as well for the uh for the keyrings that i'm doing hopefully they're gonna turn out nice and yeah there's gonna be lots more more creative stuff um i haven't got a solid date for my shop opening yet but it will be in i, I think two to three weeks once i've got because i have to send everything off and it has to be made and then sent back to me so yeah i'm gonna try and do things as quickly as i can so thanks for stopping by i'm gonna have my tea and flick through my new book and oh i also got a new shirt it's great it's got mushrooms on it <laughs> so, that was my treat for me <laughs> all right so that's it for now um i hope i'll see you next time bye